Hello everyone and welcome to this little tutorial on how to use the four pole band splitter and joiner JSFX that I wrote. So I've already set up this little base project to help illustrate the band splitter and I will now guide you through it. So basically here we have a track with a single audio file and on this track we have the band splitter currently enabled. So what we can see here is that it cuts the signal into four frequency bands and it's currently set to FIR, which means that it's in linear phase mode. So it's not applying any phase distortions other than latency. So we can also see that with this band splitter enabled, it has quite a bit of latency. So this track after splitting sends the individual bands to their own separate tracks. So here we have audio one, two going to band one at channel one, two. We have audio channel three and four going to the track band two at channel one and two. Five and six goes to band three and seven and eight are going to band four. And so if we solo any of these bands, we'll hear that particular frequency band. So these tracks in turn send their signal to regroup where we have currently set the band joiner to sum the signals back together. And this track then sends it back to the master. So this is what we're hearing. Now of course a band splitter and joiner wouldn't be so useful if it affects the sound because you kind of want the, the band splitter and joiner itself to be transparent. And since we are currently in FIR mode, we wouldn't expect it to. So here we have the same audio file, but inverted. So that means since we are in FIR mode, we would expect that if we unmute this channel, that we get a perfect no, so that we get no sound anymore. And as we can hear, that is actually the case. If, however, for, for whatever reason, we cannot accept latency, we can go to IIR mode, but then this will not perfectly null anymore. However, there is also a solution to this, which is by applying the same phase distortion as the IIR filter is applied. And for this, we have the plugin called Phase Matcher. So if we add this to the track, and we set the frequencies to be the same as in the band splitter. So I made a preset for this. Then once again, we get a perfect null. And of course, now that we have it split up into bands, we can apply processing on each band separately, which can be used for all sorts of creative effects. I hope that this little tutorial was useful and see you next time.